hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as I'm sharing great contents every day for you all right in this lesson I am going to teach you the reflections which is a very confusing subject and if it's needed I'm gonna divide this lesson two parts um, I'm going to have a look uh, while creating this video okay um, let's switch our development branch right click on solution add new project console application next youtube c sharp let's say reflection okay next create let's set as a startup project and type our title reflection okay guys i bring my notes with me as well i'm going to look sometimes time to time while i was talking okay actually we can say reflection is an advanced level of features of c sharp so what we can do with this reflection guys the definitions can be always um, tricky and confusing um, for this subject but I can confidently say confidently say there are many ways to use it for example um, we can be able to reach the metadata files and see the object information it is going to be confused if I say like that right so let me type first and I'm going to explain what I'm trying to tell you. We are able to reach metadata files and see object informations. So what does that mean? It means until the, this lesson, we create an object and we work with their values. We able to print their values on our screen. And what if I would like to see and catch the object information like what 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 is the name of property or or what is the name of method or um or some information like that, guys? Okay, to do that, we need I need to teach you the types. What is the type then? Let's right here get type. So we ne I, I need to teach you the first of all get type. So the type is if you remember our previous lesson I talked about the object. Object is the base of everything in the in the C sharp, right? So we can consider everything comes from the object. So the type is most common class comes after the object. So that type is really important for the C sharp and for us. Okay, let's continue how to get how we can get types. I'm gonna start with the fields, and I'm gonna create a class. Let's type a string text byte words, and let's say integers numbers without any definition i'm going to create a class which is called product and let's add some public field here string say name i'm gonna say okay leave it name for example marble and let's put a field public integers for example price let's say five and I'm going to assign a method public let's take a return value one string I'm, I'm just gonna give a void method it's not it's not a big deal um, method from product say and it's going to be empty 
don't have we have nothing inside it okay so how are we able to get the types then let's try to find out okay let's say var first and we are trying to get type of text one okay so thanks to intellisense bring the way of getting types so the first one is using typo keyword and to use that we are we are using the type so if we um make division in this section we can say here type we can say the name of string we can say the reference and we can say the object basically okay so we if we would like to use the typos of keyword we need to assign the type of what we need to get the type basically okay the second the second um, method of the getting types we can use the reference and get type method so the, the both result is save let's continue with the integer by the way I'm going to change the var to type because if you see the result the result return as a type so we can use type class confidently okay let's continue with the type of integers one we're going to use type of int again and we need to use type type of integer 2 and we're going to use the number because to use the get type we need to use the reference numbers get type now we have a problem here what is that problem let's have a look use an assigned local variable number so it means if we would like to use get type method to get a type of a variable we need a object because the reference is created but there is no object there is no value we're not able to get the type leave it like that and let's continue with the uh, our object class object okay let's get the type type of product one type of product this is our type so we able to use type of keyword to get a type of that product class and type of product we how we able to use get type then we need a reference so we didn't create anyone okay let's create a reference now product product this is our reference I didn't create any object I just create a reference let's try to use product get type we have a problem again and it's telling us an assigned local variable product to do that we need to use we need I'm gonna make this section um, sorry command because okay leave it leave it like that I'm going to use product 2 product product 2 new product okay we create a new object for product 2 and now we're going to get the type of product 2 using with get type method let's type type of product 2 and we're going to use product 2 dot get type here we go we have our types in our hand now so this is the difference between the type of keyword and get type method all right I assume you understand this section and I am going to go with what we're going to do with this type so we learned how to get a type 
So let's continue with it. I'm going to make this section command and so what what we able to do with this type let's comment let's type a title what we can do with a type okay all right uh, let's make a comment all section yep okay let's continue here now I'm going to create another um, class here. I'm going to copy the elements of previous class. Okay, um, it doesn't matter what we assign as a default value. We don't need them. Okay, um, so what can we do with a type? Okay, let's create a type now. Type type of client. I'm going to get the reference, get the type from my client. Okay, so let's type our type of client to our screen and see what is the result is going to be okay here we go the result is client as you can see okay so we able to see our name of our uh, type I'm going to switch this actually I'm not gonna switch this um, I am going to create a new namespace let's say test and I'm going to create another class in that namespace let's say product okay perfect let's try to get type of this product now As you can see, we're not able to use it. All we need to do is add our namespace in front of product, or we can add this namespace in a project using by using using test. Here we go. So we have our product in our hands as well. Let's see the product. The type of product you will see the test of product this is the this is the name of our type okay so let's continue investigate our type and what kind of methods and properties we have all right I'm going to go through with the client and dot as you can see we have many property and methods with the extension ones as well uh, if I would if I go through every single method and property it's gonna take days guys so I'm gonna show you the most common ones okay um, so let's continue with the full name to use this sorry to use that I'm going to use console right line. Let's make those comments. See the full name, both of them full name. As you can see, these are the full names, guys. Let's continue with the just name. This is this is the only single names appear if I use the name okay let's continue with another properties for example let's see the assembly for both of section as you can see these are assembly um, information 
for both type okay let's continue with the just click the properties base type declaring full name we can check is it array or is it abstract if if i use that we're going to get a bool result as you can see and gets a value indicating whether type is abstract and must be overridden so it means if this class if this type is abstract we're going to get through but if it's not we're going to get false so i'm going to make this product abstract all right so i'm going to check both of them is it abstract or not one of is false the other one is true you can multiply these examples um, to selecting the other properties and other methods okay i'm going to leave it like that for now let's make it command line again okay let's have a look our methods let's say values i'm not gonna get any certain name so i'm gonna change the value of our types let's type of client dot let's say get if i get i will to i will able to get properties get interfaces and fields but if you use the single one without s field instead of fields you will be asked for a specific name as a strong name so if you don't know the specific name don't use those so i'm going to use get fields which is which returns us uh, an array let's have a look it's a fields and return is field information field info and it, it is an array okay let's have a look for each field in values and let's write them all fields okay by the way i'm gonna add one more field to see them all string text blah blah okay let's see the result now as you can see we able to see um the type of our fields both type and name so what if if i if i would like to specify these results let's have a look again var values var value let's say field and i'm going to return value as a result so have a look what kind of we what can what kind of properties and methods we have we have a get value and set value but i'm not going to show you right now because um it's a little bit tricky i need to explain those let's have a name of those fields as you can see the price and text is the name of our fields okay is there any interesting properties let's have a look we can have a look at our attributes we're going to get the public results sorry we're going to get a public result as you can see we have publics let's have a look another let's have a look field types i never used the field types before let's have a look at the definition get the type of this field object okay the first one is integer the second one is citric let's have a look at the field types integer and string perfect it's working all right um i'm going to leave it with the name and i would look i would like to continue with the properties i'm going to copy this section let's change with this with the fields field and fields 
and I'm going to change it to properties get properties where is the properties yep the return is going to be array again with the property info array okay let's value field it's not gonna be it's going to be property and let's see the property names in our project now all right let's add a separator here and let's see the result as you can see this is our property which is defined by me at the beginning of lesson this is the name okay let's add one more time let's string address blah 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 okay let's see the result now as you can see with the reflection we always playing with the information of our types the name what is what what are their types what are their names we didn't start um, manipulating the values okay this is why reflection is really important okay let's continue with the method get the properties okay cut this one here okay. copy add let's get the methods we're going to use get methods property no it's going to be method in methods yeah let's find out the method name and we're going to see lots of method because there are default methods but where is our method as you can see method from product perfect be able to see it all right um let's have a look what kind of properties exact name in method we have return parameter if we have a return parameter we can select return parameter all right um let's have a look attributes custom if we have a custom attributes we can select this one get parameters get type is abstract can select if it's public or private you can select all of them or is virtual you can select is if it's static right I'm not gonna do all of them I'm gonna just leave it with the name you can work on your project for a future time okay um is there anything should I do with the section okay I'm going to continue now with the get and set values so is it possible to change the values okay let's try to change them so let's start with the fields let's get value as you can see there is a compulsory um, parameter here so we need to give an object so we didn't create one we are using the just types of our class so what, what are we supposed to do so it means we need to create an object let's create one product uh, let's say product new so we create a product object and we can assign this object to get value from it why we get an error here let me have a look oh this is an abstract is this an abstract yeah this is an abstract let's delete the abstract okay I'm gonna use the client I'm not gonna use because I, I want this I want to keep this for abstract example here let's go with the, the go through with the client okay now we able to use get value okay I'm going to make command line and I will I, I would like to focus on 
getting values. 5 and blah blah. These are our, as you can see, um, fields value. Okay, let's continue step by step with the other section. Now we able to get, where is my, yep, let's get value of client. Okay, and I'm going to quickly comment this line. Let's see the value of the properties, mobile and blah blah again. Perfect. They are working. Um, but to be honest, um, there is a difference between runtime and compile time. I didn't mention it before because it's really confusing. As you can see, I created a new object here and I am able to reach them in compile time which is now I'm in compile time. I'm developing my project. I didn't run my project. So we call that it's a compile time. And we able to reach my fields, my properties, even my methods. So what does that mean? This object is created right now in compile time. What if I want to create this item in running time? So I'm gonna delete it. All of them actually I'm gonna delete this one I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this command so we have a problem here it is asking me an object okay okay let's try to create an object just after when I click to run my project so how is it going to be possible there is a class to do that which is called activator okay let's var client and I'm going to call this class activator thanks to the IntelliSense bring the method quickly for me so create an instance type of client so I'm working with the client I need the object of a client so I'm going to use create instance method which is asking me a type and I gave the a type client okay I have an object in from in our my hand now but let's see the difference between the normal way of creating object let's say oh, sorry let's say client and let's put a dot here as you can see I'm not able to reach any property field or method any circumstances anyway so what does that mean so it means this client is not created yet. It's going to be created when I click the run button of my compiler. So this is the main difference between the compiler time and runtime creating objects. Okay. I assume you understand activator and bit difference between the compiler and running time creating objects. Let me have a look how many minutes have been done. It's 28 minutes. Um, before finish my lesson, I'm going to talk a little bit with the assemblies and then and then I'm going to go reflection with a new video because it's going to be too much. So let's say the section one and let's continue with the assembly as well. Okay. Until this time, we knew, we, we knew the cl um, what kind of class we have. So if we didn't know what kind of object, what kind of types we have, we need to look for the assemblies one by one, right? So how can we reach the assembly? By the way, what the assembly is in the first hand? The assembly, the we, can, we call assembly to our project. So every project, we can we can say confidently they are assembly okay so how can we reach our project I mean assemblies so there is a class which is called assembly let's type in was my assembly we 
it going to use this class to bring our assembly. So thanks to IntelliSense again, it it's telling us use the get executing assembly, which is um, which we able to reach our current assembly. This is C sharp reflection. If you remember, we had a quick look of our class assembly. Let me have a look where it is. This is created instance. Let's type here type of client dot assembly. If you remember when we look at our assembly name, it is going to be same name which we are going to get now. Okay. Let's delete it. Okay, let's console right line. Let's say my assembly. For example, full name. We can use the full name. Okay, let's have a look quickly. But before that, I'm going to make commands sections. This is the name of our assembly. Use YouTube C sharp reflection version version culture and blah blah blah. Perfect. Let's continue with the further features. So what if, if we would like to get the types in my assembly? So let's say var types. We're not talking about the object object or classes or methods anymore. We are talking about types. So we are looking for types in our assembly. Okay. My assembly get types. Here we go. The return value is type array. So we need to use a for each where types in type and see the results now. Type dot for example name. Okay, let's see the results now. Let's have a look now. This is our name of our assembly and we have program client and product. So client and product is defined here, as you can see. Perfect. Now you know how to reach our types in our assembly. So the rest of them is the same what we did in our finding type of our objects. Let me have a look my notes. Is there any specific things to do with the assembly? All right. What if if I would like to reach the other assembly, for example, exception handle? So there is another way to do it. I'm going to make command line here. Let's watch another assembly. We have methods here to find out our assembly. You can use load from to using a location like um, in your directories get, we already use the get execution assembly and i'm going to show you how can we use get assembly okay it is asking us basically a type so what what it that what it means it means let's read the description here get the currently loaded assembly which which they are here currently lo loaded assemblies in which the specified type is defi defined. So I should have type right here a type of a already defined in the assembly what I'm looking for. Let's type here type of type of and the, by the way the return is one single assembly okay let's use a type of and i am looking for an assembly which contains a custom exception if you remember our, our previous lessons we created a custom ex uh, exception class i mean type we are talking with the types now ex exceptions custom exception let me have a look did i type correctly custom exception okay but we, we couldn't reach it why we couldn't reach it because 
we need to add a reference in our project right click on reflection add project reference add your exception handle project okay now come to your text control dot on it and using youtube c sharp exception handle you need to add your um your namespace here okay so we able to reach it now let's find out let's see the results what we have another assembly let's have a look quickly as you can see youtube c sharp exception handle blah 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 we have the assembly in our hands now so the rest of them is the same with what we did in our own executed assembly okay um let me have a look it's already 36 minutes okay i'm going to finish this lesson here guys before that let's commit our changes let's say reflection and i'm going to show a little bit further advanced level of example in the next lesson let's say um i'm going to tell them it's a example so let's say it's a reflection okay let's we are on development perfect let's commit them all let's open our manage branch let's switch to the main right clicking on development and merge into the main perfect all right guys thank you watching thank you for watching my video if you crush the like button i will be really appreciated it really motivates me to create new contents and if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop comments below the video and take care of yourself see you on the next lesson bye bye